Today is a gift, a fresh opportunity to change your life with God's Word. It is our prayer that this day-to-day devotional by Ben and K. Ahiga Jr. will do just that. October 24th What is true greatness? Bible verse to ponder upon. God opposes the proud but favors the humble. James chapter 4 verse 6b New Living Translation I heard someone say once that if you always parade yourself, you will never lead the parade. He was only trying to say that if you continue to parade yourself as more important, then you will never really be able to lead in life. Nowadays, we are so consumed with getting the best place for ourselves up there that we forget that the way up is down. There must be leadership to get so many things done. But true leadership should arise out of a servant's heart. A heart that is willing to serve and not on waiting to be served. Servant is not a degrading word, rather it emanates from the word service, which means using whatever God has given you to serve him and the needs of others. If people call you great, how really great are you? If you always try to demonstrate and tell others how much you are in charge, you will always succeed at showing them how small you really are. Have you ever pondered over God's method of promotion? If you are serious about greatness in life, then you must serve your way to greatness. Greatness and grace is only bestowed by God on those who stoop low enough to serve others. Your service can become your signature in the hearts of people and also in the heart of God because whatever you want anyone to remember you for is not what you only say but what they must see you doing. Only the humble can truly lead because with all your money, looks and influence, you will still need a servant heart to lead. Remember the great names of our days. Martin Luther King, who scores of years after his death still has a dream that people are living out. Mother Teresa of Kakuta served the poor and orphan, and today she still wins the most influential woman in the world, even in death. To date, two nations are still contending for the sight of her grave. Lady Diana, the Princess of Wales, served the sick and wounded, and in death, she follows after Mother Teresa to win the second most influential woman in the world. Speak of true greatness. Let us pray and repeat this prayer after me. Heavenly Father, may my service become a signature in the hearts of people. In Jesus' name, Amen. Our Bible reading plan for today is Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 24, to Jeremiah chapter 47, verse 7, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. To 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 17, Psalms 34, verse 1 to 23, and Proverbs chapter 26, verse 6 to 8. The Lord bless you.